Yankee Demiko here and it's time. Today is the 3rd of December, is it? No, it's the 4th of December, what am I talking about? And it's time for Miku Expo in Cologne. Miku uh, has been playing for the first time in Euro, it's, it's kind of incredible. For the first time just a few days ago, on the 1st of December I think, and I was in Paris and I avoided any sorts of spoilers, well a few I couldn't quite avoid from going to Twitter. But I don't know that much about the set list, so I'm pretty excited. Of course, I'm a bit spoiled for going for much Kamida so many times. Um, the production value for Miku here can't be as high. I mean, it's so expensive for them to do, but it's cool that for the first time fans in Europe can embrace and see Miku live. So I'm here in my mom's place in the other part of Germany. I don't live here, it's uh, one hour to Cologne from here. So soon we go to Cologne and have a Miku day. It's weird, usually Miku is taking place in the summer, like Miku concerts, except for Snow Miku, which I've never been to. But now it's in the cold season, and yeah, there is no expo like for Magica Mirai, but there's a few extra events planned today. Well, there's some fan events, we meet some people maybe, or some friends of mine, and also we're taking a picture with Miku, that cost 390 euro, but probably well worth it. I got this as a present, partially, so that's uh, very grateful for that, I couldn't have done that. Uh, doing that today, can't film there unfortunately, and apart from that of course, merch and a concert. So that would be great, and of course the most important thing is right here. So yeah, all in all, of course it won't be the best thing ever, but I mean, I'm so excited to see Miku again. Um, even for just one concert, it's weird, you know, usually it's several concerts I'm going to, but Miku Expo here is only one concert, and nope, I'm not going to the third one, London. But for everybody who is excited about Miku and can finally see her, I'm sure it's well worth it and it's gonna be great. And Settlers maybe something mixed old and new, so I'm excited. Nevertheless, for Miku as always. And of course next year Machika Mirai, Osaka Tokyo, trying to go there again too. <laughs> Stop that. What? <laughs> What song would you most like to hear today? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Just answer it quickly. Hajimete no Koika over the Toki. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> when first love ends. No, oh. I always say that. Mm. And Uta, Uta ni Katachi wa <laughs> Even though the song has no form. Well, let's hope neither of those are played. Come they're, on. They're very short. They're very long and slow. No, what if the love song isn't, isn't such a ballad? Not as much as the other one. Okay, well. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yes, so I was at Film for my event report, so now I'm in Cologne, uh, one hour drive, uh, in Christmas market, just doing a bit of sightseeing before going to the cafe. I'm here with my friends, but I mean, they don't hate to be on the camera, but they don't want to be in the focus because it's for my YouTube channel, of course. So yeah, we want to check that out and soon focus on me. <laughs> Weird to think that in this German city, Miku will be tonight. <laughs> Check the Google Maps and this over there is definitely the top part, the recognizable part of the Lancaster Arena. Still a lot of hours in the day, lots of stuff to do, but yes, this is where Miku will perform tonight. So there's a Miku event, a event going here, the Huffy Bay. With a lot of plushies too. Okay, it's now half past three and we are up for our secret picture. Well, not secret. And yeah, the event at the cafe was pretty nice, but it was a bit hard to approach German people, even though I am German. We spoke with some non German people, so yeah. It's gonna start now, and it's a nice day too. Wow, in, that, in winter, it's not even that cold. So a few people waiting here, it's, uh, I think it's uh, also a fan meet, you could say. Uh, we did the picture, it was nice, could have been better. I'm glad I did it, but Miku was not freeze frame. Um, but yeah, it was great to have a nice picture. And now, yeah, well, as I probably said, waiting for a merchandise soon. And what a nice day, how it's unexpected. The only Miku post around here, next to the arena. We're waiting in the VIP line now, and well, a lot of VIPs indeed. Uh, yeah, just for the merch, because of course it's reserved seats just like me, right? so that's nice.
some VIP stuff here? It's a notebook. Notebook and to Wait. also a VIP bash or something. It's a notebook. <laughs> and here you can... Hi, Kevin! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> So we bought the merch cash, like, uh, bought the jacket, it's pretty nice, and the uh, poster too. We yeah. yeah. even have a Fiat Pro Wall, like in Japan, and you can mark uh, where you're from. Yeah. We'll do that in a bit. Uh, I didn't expect any of this kind of stuff, of course, compared to much here, this is nothing. But since I didn't think any would be here, you know, anything I bought from merchandise and the show, it's nice. And you can take a picture and, of course, hello. Also, a plushie or the, or the yeah, people shrine. It's weird being here and looking in Germany. It feels so different, but yeah, it's still nice. And the concert hopefully will be great. But I want to see now. As I said, it's weird me could be here, but uh, over the past half an hour since I've been in here, uh, with so much stuff that you know you really get in the mood and uh, yeah no it's really getting better and people are meeting I mean, people again that I've met in Japan too and they're saying Settlers will be nice for the one I've already been in Paris so I'm looking forward to it and I'm really enjoying myself even here in Germany for Miku. Well, it's open here now. It's still one and a half hours till the concert, but you can walk in now. So this is the stage where we took the picture of Miku with. And our section is pretty much this is pretty much where we are sitting. Not too bad, but to the side, but well. In Japan you could never do this. So we're inside now and Felix is further back, but another girl didn't want to sit there. So he's sitting directly with us. What are you talking about? Here's the stage and the six feet. 45 
Sandler was amazing. Um, the screen, of course, a bit smaller, but Nico coming here to Europe for the first time, to Germany for the first time, it was much worse than did I. Of course, a few things. I thought the audience kind of sucked. <laughs> but, you know, apart from that, it was really nice. And not much worse than Mida. And of course, next year we're going to Mida again, right? <laughs> oh. But yeah, really great introduction to uh, Miku for Europe. So I'm really happy. They did a great job. The expo around it, they had something too, a few little things, so that was nice. I couldn't ask for much more. So they did a really great job. Nice songs. I cried birthday. <laughs> Really great sense. Yeah, I have no voice anymore. I mean, I don't want to brag, but you know, I screamed a lot and tried to lead some people, but you know. You were like the only one screaming. Yeah, yeah. and you have to support me, but you also did nice. Yeah. I yeah. tried. So yeah, I'm satisfied. We see you at the next location, I guess. Why are we only going to Cologne, but... What? We're going to Japan, that's enough, I think. Yeah, I hope some people who saw me for the first time are satisfied too. You know, they thought it was nice, I hope. Yeah, of course not everybody's cheering for the first time, like, so loudly. But, you know, I mean, it wasn't bad on you, so I don't want to say that. Very nice. <laughs> I'm getting empty now, but it was really nice. Of course not quite as compared to me there, but almost. <laughs> nice introduction from Miku here. Hope she will come back. I mean, they're pretty quick. No, why so quick indeed? They're efficient. Hi! The arena schließt jetzt. Wir müssen die Leider sagen. Yeah, no. Apart from that, a few songs I didn't care for as much. The first one, Sembo Sakura, is great, noticeable, and everything. It ended a bit too quickly in the end with, with Tay World, but no, I mean, I don't want to complain. As I said, great set list and how they did it, the stage and everything nice. Of course, the audience couldn't cheer uh, much sometimes. So I hope Miku, uh, a few people were like, oh, I heard this for the first time, this was great. And hopefully it's successful, they will come back here again. Until then, I will just return to Japan, of course, bigger scale, the expo especially. Um, is the best thing, but they had a bit of bit here. People got a taste, and that's what counts. They didn't did it properly, and so that is very satisfied. Actually, the only thing not as much as the picture. Glad I did it, but it wasn't, you know, felt a bit like they could have done more. Wait, before I let my past life end this event report, I want to talk about a few more things regarding Miku's first European tour. Now that I have had time to think about it more, I just want this to be as complete as possible. I still record this two days before the last show in London happened. Let's get some small negatives out of the way. The sound quality in the arena unfortunately couldn't quite compare to what I previously got to experience in Japan. The mix wasn't great, Miku was sometimes too quiet, wasn't very clear audio. Not a deal breaker anyway. Also, the show was around 10 minutes shorter than the normal concerts, which slightly bumped me out. Apart from that though, as I've said, I'm really pleased with the setlist. European fans got hit after hit in what was basically mostly a very new list of songs from previous Mida concerts, with a few classics in the list. Strange, Europe just never got to experience a true classic Mika show. There were only a few choices I didn't care for much, like I really didn't have to hear Sam on Sakura or World is Mine again. But then again, they are classics and reasonable choices for the first concert there ever. If any of you are wondering why I didn't film more of the show, after all I was actually allowed in contrast to the gigs in Japan, why bother? I was there to support and cheer on Miku. I wanted to enjoy the concert. I recorded a few seconds for my report, but if I really want to see Miku live, I'd watch the official good quality releases of past events. I personally really dislike when people film for extended amounts of time, it ruins the mood. Speaking of which, I thought it was a bit underwhelming, I felt like I was the only person in the block truly doing all the appropriate screams, but then again I understand that this might be too much to expect for first time goers. The VIP block's energy didn't compare to what it is in Japan, and that might be the part I look forward to the most, experiencing in Japan again. It really makes a difference being surrounded by more hardcore Japanese fans. I still tried my best cheering Miko and the rest on as much as I could, which should be normal for somebody as experienced going to the concerts like me. So don't get me wrong, I don't want to hate on people who weren't as familiar with what they were doing. Still I like hearing more enthusiasm around me, especially for non-Miku songs. I dislike the notion of some fans almost making fun of the other vocaloids. They deserve the support just as much and I would have hoped for more people joining my efforts to show that they are just as much part of the family as Miku is. Miku would want it that way. They are all a big happy Krypton family. But yeah, I'm happy for all first time goers how it turned out. Except for some of my nitpicks, the concert had hit after hit. Which brings me to this interesting aspect. Setless changes. 
Crypton sure loves having those ever since Mira 2017. As I found out later, since I didn't spoil the setlist from the Paris show, we got 5 different songs. Cool for people who would go to all 3 shows for sure. I'll show you all the changes here, but for me it was kinda mixed bag. I loved hearing Luca Luca Knife Fever instead of Just Be Friends. For me a 10 out of 10 song instead of a song I really can't stand. I was happy about hearing Electric Angel, but I'm really bummed out I missed an opportunity to hear a song with no form. Again! I was so close to finally hearing it. I love Hajime no Oto, but without all fans singing along, it didn't nearly have the same impact. Would have also loved to hear Worlds in Dancehall. Yeah, so apart from the one Luca song, I feel like fans in Paris got the better deal. Still don't want to complain too much, and I'm curious to hear how London will handle it. In general, I like how it's very likely that future Miku concerts will continue to having many little changes, something that was unthinkable until 2017. Miku speaking in German was super cute, even if I would have liked the speech in Japanese too, as well as an introduction of Miku by the audience. Don't understand how they skipped that sometimes. I was super happy seeing 5 band members, many of you might not care as much, but with so many regulars they have become a part of the show that doesn't leave me uninterested in the slightest. What is especially cool is the fact that we got 2 guitarists, both classic members, which was previously never the case for Miku Expo except for the tour in Japan. Really cool. Megmi, a well known drummer and a new bassist were there too, perfect band pretty much. Hope more people can learn about them too. Apart from the concert, leading up to it a Let's Paint event took place in Düsseldorf the previous day, which I didn't attend. Still cool they have those events in the first place. Some fans organized other small get togethers on the day too, like one in the cafe I briefly showed in my video and a meeting in front of the arena where people could even take a picture with a MMD Miku. Cool for people who couldn't afford the super expensive official photo shooting, which was as I said a great thing to have experienced but could have easily been better. They could have had Miku talking or at least have some sort of animation, instead she was just a freeze frame. Why didn't they care more about the whole image of her being a virtual living pop star? A bit disrespectful, they kinda just cashed in, but still happy I did it once. Got some cool goods out of a tour and an official Miku photo pass. So yeah, glad some people did extra events, even if they naturally were nothing super amazing. I like them just for meeting new people who care about Miku especially. Speaking of which, I always said it in the past and was true for Miku in Germany too. Meeting new people is super cool. I especially like meeting some fans of mine who were super happy to see me. Really surprised me, but can't claim it didn't make me smile. Hope you continue enjoying my stuff. All I want is spreading the fun you can have with Miku and I seem to have succeeded. Meeting some Japanese fans too and talking with them and the little Japanese I know is cool too. They are always so surprised when I mention I go to Japan seeing Miku. They love foreigners being crazy about Miku. And oh yeah, even if it was brief, I was really happy to have had the opportunity taking a picture with the CEO of Krypton, Ito-san too. It just all felt pretty good. They did a good job introducing Miku to Europe. They didn't fuck it up. Expectation is key too. I didn't expect anything apart from the concert, but I even got a very small expo with the Pier Pro Ball, Miku Shrine and some pictures apart from the merch. Two hours before the concert, I reached a state of being in a very happy Miku world, which I didn't expect to feel outside of Japan. And the concert was great too. That Miku world unfortunately came to an abrupt stop after the concert was over. Being in Germany just has nothing of that Miku feeling outside of the venue. Being at Mira you usually still have more a day later, or at least the familiar feeling of being in Japan. Oh well, at least I can still tell everybody it's well worth going to see Miku in Japan. This was great and I hope they can do it again. Of course I will support it. Good introduction to what Miku is all about. Can they do it again? A good sign is that the merch sold all out in Cologne, which is always a main money maker. Even a report by German television was well made and didn't make fun of it at all. Nice. I personally had lots of fun on this day, got nice VIP goods of the photo shoot the VIP entrance and more and I'm left with another great Miku memory. I liked seeing an upload of my cute Hakuto Miku online on Twitter and even my tweet by the official Miku account on which you can see myself cheering when the confetti dropped. Still waiting to be visible on the Blu-ray, but nice start. Good job Krypton, Miku in Europe was a success wasn't it? Hopefully open the door for more Miku here in the future. And bad job me, I just can't trust myself when I have just a few things to say. And now back to past Kevin for the outro. So, thank you to Miku, uh, this was the event report, now going home one hour, we're well, not really home, tomorrow we go to Munich, but yes, my Miku love hasn't stopped. So next video um, will be Midnight 2018 Blu-ray uh, event report. Okay, until then. Um, have a nice new day! <laughs>